Welcome to Siva 718. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for all the new subscribers we received lately. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you can always be updated anytime we release a video. Guys, also don't forget to hit that like button as well. What we're going to talk about today guys is a particular launcher that you can obtain for your Android devices. So in this video, we're going to use the own Pro 4K and I'm going to show you how to install this launcher. Now this launcher has been out for about, I'm going to say a year. I just haven't had the opportunity to do a video on it and I figured this is the perfect opportunity to do a video on it. Now that this own 4K Pro device is out, you know, on the Fire Stick devices, you have to go through all this jumping over hoops and, and hurdles in order to get your launcher to stay with this particular device you don't have to go through all of that now this launcher is really cool you can customize it you can um rearrange your apps you can add categories you can place a background it is really cool they also have um parental controls you can also set parental controls for a particular app you can choose apps to have controls on it and Sort of like the uh, Google TV, um, I believe the 14 is going to be released soon and that's going to be available on the new um, Google TV device that's coming out. But um, that particular um, interface has the option to create multiple profiles, unlike the Android TV, which doesn't. So the Google TV has that ability. But if you do have an Android um, TV based device like the NVIDIA Shield, you guys can utilize this particular launcher and you can create profiles with it as well if that's something you was looking for now how do you get this app this is very simple i'm not gonna let you wait to the end of the video what we can do is head over to the, uh, the app section scroll down and we're just going to put the name of the app right here and the name of the app is um projectivity just type that in now there are two versions of this they do have a premium version as well premium version allows you to do um, more things they give you options for the uh, wallpaper that's a little bit different all you gotta do is come here install it once you install it right you can open it and when you open it a message will pop on the bottom to say to give this more permissions now if you somehow can't reach that message or the message didn't pop up what you should do is hit the home button on your controller go to your settings and go to the section right here that says accessibility and then you're going to look for the app you just installed which is the uh, projectivity launcher and then you're going to turn that on you're going to enable it and once it's on you're going to head right back into the app and you're going to do one more thing now um if you guys are used to placing launches on your on your device you would usually download some sort of tool for example if you have the wolf launcher you would have to have the tool to uh, set the launcher to be permanent, but you don't have to do that with this. Just head into the settings, go to the projectivity launcher settings, go to the general, and right here to have the option to override the current launcher, you're gonna select that. So the options here as well, you don't have to select those. Now from here, we're just gonna hit the home button. Now, if you hit the home button and you're still in the launcher, you have successfully switched your launcher over to this particular one and you're successful. Now, what we have to do next is customize it to the way we want it to be. So let's head back over to the settings. We're gonna head over to the launcher settings. Now, I'm gonna show you a few things here. 
they have something called appearance select that background now the first thing we're going to do is go to the launcher wallpaper they have options here now as you can see the um the badges to the right where it says select the program random the program user defined user defined folder you will need the premium version in order to use that option um but if anything these are free you can choose reddit after you choose reddit go to the configure and then from here you can choose your theme so let's choose sky let's head back to the home page and you're going to see that it's going to update and you're going to see the sky soon okay so as you can see the background of the sky appeared now if you had issues with that um what you can do you can head over to the settings go all the way down and they're going to show you the wallpaper that you selected it's called this wallpaper and then from here they're showing you the uh, source and the author and then you just can select set as wallpaper but remember this will have to have the premium option in order for you to use this right here if you have the premium option but you shouldn't have any issues okay so now that we have this set up let's go over what we can do now if you select left on the controller you're going to see categories you have the categories here now let's say you wanted to add or take away from this category head over to the settings and it says edit categories now you can add your own category so let's say you have uh, a bunch of apps you do um, streaming on um, you can select the streaming section right here um, let's say you have a video game well the games option is actually already given to you so I'm just giving ideas so let's say you have a, um, a section that you want to create for kids you can place a new category for that you can edit the um, categories now they have a section called now playing and you can choose to have that section visible or not visible so you can remove things and not delete the category um, there's different options here mobile apps display system so that's pretty cool um, then you can also edit the channels so the channels are like uh, Paramount Plus, let's say you have Plex and let's say you use Plex a lot, let's select Plex. They have the options for you to show the Plex channel. So you can select, let's say, recommendations and let's put that visible. And let's select one more. Let's say you use Prime and you want to make this visible. And it looks like the Android TV, the Google TV as well. And as you can see, it has the Prime Video channel and showing you recommendations for what they have. Um, so go down to the Plex. You also have the same options for the Plex. You know, they have things they recommend and things that um, you are already watching to continue watching, which is pretty cool. You can also move this. Let's say you want this Plex to uh, be more visible up just hit left and you're going to see a little up and down arrow you're going to move it up and now my plex recommendations are the first thing i see you can also uh head over here to the project launcher settings and there's parental controls now the parental controls you can set up a, a passcode for that um different options here you can set a particular time where you want the parental controls to work or not to work let's say you know um, you just want to set it for when you're sleeping you can do that um, you also have a remote control option here um, this is to display the information for the parental controls you can choose how you want that to be viewed let's go back and then also, let's say you have a particular app. Um, let's say it's A&E. Just hold down the select button. And you have options here for this particular app. 
you have the app settings you can open it you can have it launch on boot which is pretty cool so let's say you have a particular app that you know you're going to go to let's say you're using direct tv streams you can select direct tv streams to launch on boot so that you know your tv will be right there as soon as you turn on your device and then you can add this particular app to a parental control so now let's say you don't want no children watching a and e you can lock a and e right you can also reorder so let's say you know you want to move it down you want to move it up you can do that as well another option is this let's head back in there you can hide it so if i hit the hide a and e is now hitting and it won't show here on my main bar and that's pretty cool okay okay so another thing we can talk about is the, uh, the profiles you can create if you just hit the select button let's go to the uh, display profiles now here you can select add new so first you gotta display profile list and then add new now this remember this is only going to be for those who have the premium i'll show you how to get that in a few minutes and then you can choose the profile name um it's different things here that you can do the clip in the grayscale picture management and then you can also delete the profile if you didn't want the particular profile anymore so that is pretty cool now remember this application is free but for the premium options, they are asking for a one-time fee. Now let's head over to the, um, about the uh, projectivity launcher. And this is where you're gonna see, there's a little um, QR code there. You scan that code, then it will take you right over to the developers page, which is a xdadevelopers.com page. Now right here it says get in premium. I already have the premium, but if you didn't have the premium, they will show you that the cost for the premium is about eight dollars so it's an eight dollar one-time fee after you pay the fee you will have the premium version so this is how you would get it um let's see what else we can do we can also access the settings of the device from here this is called the android settings so you can see your regular settings here and that's about it so it's pretty cool guys change your wallpaper you won't have any adverts to worry about. You can change the categories. You can change the background. You can have settings up here, settings not up here. It's a lot of things you can do. Now, um, one question is, if you hide a particular application, how can you get the application to uh, show itself again? So this is how you would do that. You would head to the category that the app was hiding in, go to your left, and select that settings option there. A menu will pop up. Now, remember, you can change the name of um, of that category if you want, but you will head over to where it says manage apps, and then it, they will have a list of all the apps that were uh, in that category. And remember, we made the and &E hide to unhide it just select it there and this is also a quick way to hide applications you don't want there as well if you want to hide your download or app yes file explorer if you have that you know things like that you can hide it and find it whenever you need it so this is it right you can change the size of the um, apps as you can see it's changing in the background you can have it show the title or not show the title slide and roll i'll keep that there um you can put it to a grid take the grid out you have a lot of options with this particular launcher now it's cool that it's free and you can really do everything you need to do with the free one you know you don't really need the um paid one but if you want to support the developer and get those little extra features I will recommend you do that okay very simple very cool application it's very similar to the um google tv um you know of course google tv has a lot more options but if you wanted something similar with the parental controls and the uh 
displays and profiles this option right here is cool this is something to look into let me know what you think about this guys tell me all your thoughts i really think that this is a great option to customize your device more personally and do whatever you want to do you know your only device you should be able to do exactly what you want to do guys so um as you can see the background switched up it's still in that sky theme pretty cool guys let me know your thoughts thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed guys check out our new merch we do have the cut the cord t-shirt available for those who are interested and want to support the channel go ahead and check the description down below for your cut the cord t-shirt thank you again and thanks for watching thank you for watching if you have made it this far in the video guys like and subscribe to the channel i am going to give away a playstation portal to one lucky subscriber watching the channel now guys all you have to do is subscribe like the video um watch the video in its full entirety we're trying to get the watch hours up guys once we have the watch hours up to the point where we can get monetized we're going to give away a playstation portal so stay tuned continue to watch the videos eventually we're going to give out this playstation portal to the lucky winner thank you